Hi sportsmen, Alex Bialik here with your Hot Bites Fishing Report this week. We're just getting off the lake on Hanlon Lake where we just filmed a little crappie segment, but that's not your Hot Bites Report this week. We covered that last week. This week we're focusing in southeast Michigan in the Detroit River, and then we're going to come up to northwest Michigan in the Benzie Frankfurt area and focus on the Betsy River as we get this spring push of steelhead coming in. And then we're gonna work our way down south on 31 and we're gonna start fishing the Pier Marquette River. And we're gonna have all the tips and tricks you need for this week's Hot Bite Fishing Report. Hi Sportsman, our first report today is coming from the Detroit area, the Detroit River. We all know that walleye season is coming to a close on the 15th, but it's not too late to get the boat out and catch lots of walleye and good eater sized walleye as well. It's important to use caution because of the ice flows that are happening inside the Detroit River. From the reports through the last couple days, we've been having to run up the Canadian side and then fish back with the ice flow, dodging some chunks of ice here and there. You're fishing 20 to 27 foot of water and your cadence has to be varied. The slow rise and drop isn't always working. A jerk every now and then and a hold and pounding bottom, again, can work really well. What we're using is 5 8 ounce fat boy jigs with green heads and dark bodies. The main forage is shad in these rivers, and honestly, you need to represent that bait fish if you're trying to land any numbers of walleye. Not always a split tail and a minnow is going to work, so you need to make sure that you're going to your local bait shop, find out what baits are in the system and exactly what the locals are using. And right now it's bigger size bodies as these fish are starting to feed as they're coming in the rivers to spawn and the Detroit River run is on right now. Our reports are coming from local fishermen and their bait shop of choice is The Bait Shop in Waterford, Michigan. They have anything you need for Detroit River jigging, and if you're new to it, they'll get you set up in no time. Hello again, this is Austin with Beck's Trailer Store. This is our standard seven wide Explore trailer frame right here. First of all, I'm gonna start out here with the tongue. It's a quarter inch thick, it goes 10 foot back here in the trailer. Um, you have cross members every 16 inches on this trailer. Um, uprights, roof, and the floor. Um, you got your si side ramp door over here. You got a tube cross member here that allows the door no flex, no movement at all. Um, right after your tongue stops, you got a full two and a half by six inch cross member here that the tongue butts up to, welded all the way around that. Behind that, you have a torque tube that goes to right in front of your axles. There's, again, they're torsion axles, so they're mounted welded and then bolted to the frame so it actually acts as almost another cross member so you're gaining another two cross members by going to torsion axles instead of spring axles. Your inch by inch and a half tube on your side post studs, also your roof post studs, they do have a bow in them, three quarter inch bow from the outside to the center of that so that you're, it is going to allow water to melt and run off the side. One piece roof, again we're going to touch base on that, that is huge, industry standard is going to be crimped about every four foot. So it's huge to have a one piece roof, especially on a snow trailer with the snow buildup and all the ice buildup that you're gonna have, obviously from the winter months of the year. Aluminum wheels, again, we're gonna to touch base on that. You're gonna buy a great looking snow build trailer. You want it to look great, including the wheels and radial tires as well. Uh, stainless steel hardware, we're gonna to touch base on that again. You don't want your hardware to be rusting out, rivets to be popping. Uh, that's one thing we don't do is put a lot of screws in the exterior of the trailer. It's all screwless exterior. Again, guys, you buy a Legend trailer for looks, you keep it for life, you won't ever regret it. Our second report comes from Betsy River. The spring run is on, and even those winter fish are holding over, and they're starting to work gravel a little more and more in the Betsy River system in the Benzie Frankfurt area. The lower section has fresh fish coming in as we get this warmer weather, and there's a little bit of runoff coming out into Lake Michigan. But... The fish that are already holding there are in the upper sections starting to work more and more gravel. They're starting to rake already and the best areas to target these fish are going to be behind the gravel. Don't rake the gravel, use ethical techniques and really start fishing those pools and seams around structure and at the middle to upper section of the Betsy River. These deeper pools have been 
very productive all winter long because that's their winter holding water. So these fish that are waiting for an easy meal, it's the perfect spot to target them. Beads spawn underneath a float has been producing the most fish by far. You can't beat fresh, fresh spawn this time of year. And if you don't have anything fresh and you're looking to get out on this awesome spring fishery as we enter the month of March, use beads and colors right now that are working are orange, chartreuse, and even your pinkish color, a little bit of red tint to them. But stay focused on gravel. You have to be near this gravel area to find fish. These deep pools and seams right behind it are the greatest way to find these spring steelhead in this month of March. Hey, are you in the market for a small outdoor shed, carport, or small storage building? Visit my friends up at Midwest Steel Carports. They'll travel anywhere in the Lower Peninsula to install your shed or carport for you. Visit them online at MidwestSteelCarports.com. Our third report today and our final report is coming from Captain Chuck's in the Lightington area. We were there last week talking about crappie fishing on awesome Hamlin Lake where we stand today. But this week we're talking about the Pier Marquette River. Again, just like the Betsy that we just previously talked about, the fish are starting to push in and have been there all winter. Fishing near gravel and in pools and seams are working very well. The best fishing right now is coming from that 31 bridge up all the way to the fly only section up near Baldwin. These fish are all throughout the system and even good trout are being mixed in with this awesome spring steelhead run that the PM is world famous for. As we begin to fish these deep pools, our starting spot is going to be simple. We're going to start with beads and your chartreuse, red and orange natural colors and a little varying color. So if you're using an orange with some chartreuse paint, stuff like that, it's a great starting point. But as always in the springtime, you can't beat spawn bags underneath a float. Fishing around seams and any kind of structure near gravel and finally starting to move away from that sandy bottom that those fish started to hold in during the winter. We have a warm week coming up and it doesn't look any better for the steelhead fanatics that people love to fish the Pier Marquette River. If you're looking for anything, look at Captain Chuck's as they'll have anything you need, but let's focus on the Pier Marquette and this awesome spring run that they're gonna have starting now through the month of March and into April. Well, there it is folks. As we stand on Hamlin Lake here in Lington, Michigan, we ran a little segment today fishing crappie in deep water and very finesse, but here at Fisherman's Digest, we're done with winter. We're looking forward to river fishing. If it's Walleye in the Detroit, the Betsy River, or Pier Marquette River, we're thinking spring here at Fisherman's Digest, and so should you.